Yes, definitely. We prepared very well for this game. We were uh, watching them. We analyzed them very well because uh, we, we knew that somehow we needed to change our strategy with them. If we give them a space, they will take it, and they will take it, and they will make us, make us suffer. So we, we wanted to avoid that, and uh, we, we did the sacrifice in terms of a little bit of a space, and we gave them uh, more the, the ball and the possession, but the work that we did defensively, winning the ball and creating counterattacks, it was positive, and, uh, and it, it was exciting because we could have scored more goals, and at the end, uh, we, we know that uh, in a different circumstances and a different game, uh, we should have scored two, three more goals. Uh, but again, one is enough for the three points uh, to put us in a, in a, a playoff contention. Yeah, we have less days to recover, uh, and it's going to be uh, traveling. But uh, we, right now, we're 100% focused. Uh, we start the, the, the recovery today. We're going to come to practice tomorrow, like we always do. We always practice on Sundays. So that means we're, we know our schedule, and, but we are really into it because we really want to bring the playoffs again this year for the tours. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, another win, another goal. Thank you so much. Uh, to, tonight. Um, how did it feel out there going, going up uh, uh, against Colorado Springs? The team is now on a three-game win streak. Uh, they are now back in, uh, in playoff position. How does that make you and the team feel? Uh, you know, um, we're super confident right now. Uh, like there's no hiding the fact that we've uh, we've been playing well. The last like four games, I would see, I would say ever since San Antonio, uh, maybe Phoenix is an exception, but uh, you know uh, we have a lot of belief in ourselves right now. Uh, you know, as I said last week, I believe uh, uh, no team can stop us if we're 100%. Today we were not 100%, but um, yeah, it's a uh, really a really strong performance, winning 1-0 again. You know, keeping a clean sheet and all of that. So. Yeah, just really happy right now where the situation we're in. Take us back to, to, to the goal, the moments of the goal. What did, what did you see on the field? Uh, give us an explanation uh, of your point of view. So um, I was tucking in a little bit. Jonathan Ricketts was uh, overlapping on the right. Um, and uh, I see that uh, Juan David has the ball. And I know, you know, with his uh, uh, ability to look up, um, I know I knew I had space. I checked my shoulder. Knew I had space. He gave him the ball, you know. And Christian knows exactly where I want him to be. Uh, and you know, as soon as I lay that off, I know I'm going to get a great ball uh, going in behind. And uh, once I'm in behind, just see where the goalie is and put it in the corner. Final question: Short turnaround time uh, for a match against Charleston Battery. Uh, how, how does the team uh, prepare to get themselves match fit after such a hard fought match tonight? I think it's just really important the recovery starts uh, starts right now. You know, uh, we can't waste time. Uh, you know, being happy. You know, uh, for these three points. Uh, you know, this season we have to five more games, six more games, five more games. Yeah. So you know, uh, take like one step after another. So uh, yeah, you know, all fo focuses on uh, Charleston right now, and you know, got to do all the right things to make sure we're 100 percent against uh, Charleston. Yeah, appreciate it. Randy, you Yes, uh, Dylan, congratulations on the game winner. I just got to ask you, you, you spent time in both conferences, uh, playing in the Eastern and now the Western. Uh, for you, just uh, how difficult of a challenge does uh, Charleston pre present uh, now that you guys have a, a full momentum on your guys' back and being on such a quick turnaround, just how do you focus that momentum just uh, moving forward ahead to Friday night? Uh, I don't know too much about Charleston. Uh, when I was with Indy earlier in the year, um, they played them, beat them 4-3, so I know they're a good team. Uh, I was injured, unfortunately, so I couldn't travel with the team. But, um, 
Yeah, I know they have. Uh, they can score a lot of goals. Uh, a lot of dangerous guys up top. Um, they got unlucky uh, yesterday, but um, yeah, we know uh, they're a really good team. And uh, you know, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're out of the playoff content, out of play, playoff cont contention, pretty much. So uh, I, uh, you know, they have nothing to play for, and usually those teams are one that uh, can surprise you. And the last one I do got, you know, for you guys that, that have the full confidence right now that everyone's getting opportunities to score left and right, uh, for you, just how do you maintain the focus uh, going into Friday night? I mean, it's... Uh, you know, we just got to do everything right. Um, you know, we have a quick turnaround, so, you know, show up tomorrow, uh, do everything right, you know, ice bath, all of this kind of stuff. Uh, eat the right foods, drink a lot of fluids. So, yeah, just um, forget about what happened tonight and uh, focus on Charleston. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, wait, kick us off. All right, man, congratulations on the big three points. Uh, what was the, uh, the main factor for you guys to stop a potent Colorado Springs offense tonight? Um, it was really just trying to keep their uh, front three or front four kind of at bat. Um, so we wanted to keep them, everything in front of us. You know, those guys are very pacey, so we wanted to keep them in front of us as much as possible. Um, but also continue to play our game and stretch them um, and make them defend. Uh, this year they had been struggling defending a little bit more than, than usual. So we decided to kind of, kind of match them like for like on that. And so um, that was the biggest thing for us. So the main thing is just rest and recovery because we play on Friday this week, I believe. And then we travel, I would say, probably Thursday. So it's going to be a quick turnaround, but it's just kind of keeping this momentum and continuing to do the same thing that we're doing now, which is keeping the ball, possessing, switching the ball left and right, and then letting our guys, getting our guys up top in the good positions to do what they do. Um, as you can see, they've been getting a lot of opportunities, um, and they're finally putting them away, and we're finally coming together on the defensive half uh, to keep them if we keep them at zeros, it gives those guys a better chance to, to know win the game for us. All right, thanks and congratulations once again. Appreciate it, boss. Okay. First of all, uh, again, congratulations on the win. But I'd like to get your, your thoughts about usually the team in these last couple of games mm -hmm. has been very possession oriented, mm -hmm. controlling the ball, controlling the tempo uh, of the game. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, Colorado was a team that dominated the ball more. Uh, obviously, the defense, the defense uh, were able to contain, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, their top, their top four players. Yep. Um, but how did the in your in your eyes, how did the team feel uh, in on the pitch, being on the other side of the ball, mm -hmm. and also kind of add to that playing with a line of five mm -hmm. at the end when you bring in Eddie mm -hmm. Kinnaman? I got you. So it kind of. Uh, usually, yeah, we're on the ball usually, um, but also recognizing that we need to do what we need to do to get three points. Um, we've been able to show and play play well and then not win those games, you know, so sometimes in this league it has to be ugly, um, and today, you know, we didn't have the ball as much as we liked, of course, um, but we're starting to show signs of being a good team and hopefully a very good team in the future by being able to win games without the ball. Um, if we're able to win games with the ball and without the ball, they're going to be very hard to beat. Um, and so, yeah, we didn't want to really sit back as much as we did. That's what the game kind of demanded. Um, but being able to get a result while not having the ball was, was something that was important for us to, to feel and to feel comfortable in doing that. So that if it does happen, um, we're able to adapt and get results like we did tonight. I have a question yeah. to you. It seemed like at times during the match, uh, the game felt a little bit gritty with uh, a lot mm -hmm. of fouls from, from, from mm -hmm. both teams. There, was, there actually was like a confrontation mm -hmm. at, at some moments. Mm -hmm. um, how, did the, how did the team, you know, able to calm their nerves down, calm their adrenaline, to, to avoid a, an unbearable situation of a red card mm -hmm. or something similar? Uh, Coach actually talked to us about the game. He said they're going, they're going to try to get in your heads. It's, it's, most teams try to do that because um, a lot of factors coming down here to the Valley is against you. The heat, 
the field, um, us. <laughs> and so um, they try to do whatever they can to kind of get you out of your game, and some teams do that more than others. So yeah, it's a physical game. We're a physical team as well. Um, but we kind of knew in the beginning that they're going to try to get us going. So if that were to happen, you have to, we must finish with 11 on the field, no matter what. Um, so that's really harped on by coach. And so um, being able to recognize that in those moments that you're heated, like, okay, we don't need to go down a man. Um, we pick our teammate up, we stop the altercation, and then we kind of move on. So that's, that's kind of our, our thought process through that. Thank you. Cool. Actually, one, one question for me. Mm -hmm. um, I know great winning streak right now, three mm -hmm. good wins. How do you avoid the team from getting complacent, knowing that the mm -hmm. fact that Western Conference is so tight from bottom mm -hmm. to top that any single result can either get to the playoffs or out, out of the playoffs? It's just recognizing that, you know, we're maybe in the spot for playoffs now, but we're not there yet. We haven't secured the spot. Um, and recognizing that, hey, like, there's a lot of teams still in the mix. Um, we haven't won anything yet. Um, no one's going to give us anything. Um, kind of this underdog mentality that I feel like we had. Um, coming in to the team, I believe we're like, second to last, almost last, we even touched last place. And so kind of having that underdog kind of aspect of like, we keep pushing every day. Um, and the more we win, the more we see that. So it's kind of more motivation to keep doing the things that we're doing correctly, which is working hard um, and trying to get the best out of each other and, and on, on the field and, and training as well. Of course, appreciate you guys.